Nicola, and this is Lefty Nerd Podcast, episode 200. And I'm sorry to say that it's going to be a very low content episode. I've been really monogamous, mostly because I'm just stuck on what to, to knit next. So I'm from Baltimore, name's Aquila, husband, kids, cats, blah, 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 do all the crafty things mush it all together here, but today it's just going to be a single clip. I did try something new, and you would have already seen little clips throughout my week, which weren't many, but I tried. So, I've been monogamous. I've been working on my anthology throw, and that's pretty much all I've worked on. So, wow, minute in, I feel like it's going to be very... That's okay. That's okay. It's fine. It's totally fine. But I have put progress on this, and that's like, I love it so much. This is the Helen Stewart Anthology Throw. I am using my Advent Christmas calendar from Pretty Twisted Yarns from Teresa, who graciously gifted me this Advent. Thank you very much. And I was at this marker last time. And I've put on a whole one, two, three, and I've started a new color. So I, I feel like I've put a lot of work into it. So if we hold it like a basket, there's all the colors. I mean, it's pretty, pretty fun. So this is what's gotten the majority of my time of crafting time. <sighs> I did attempt to do, I mean, it's not a great swatch. I bought this yarn at Frederick Fiberfest, the fall one of 2022. And this is yarn from Wool and Vinyl. And I bought these two colorways to make the Lapis Top by Yamagera. And I bought these two colors. I have two of the blue. Let me insert a picture here. This is the top. It has, you need two of the one color, and that's going to be my, my blue, and the, like, color worky stuff at the bottom is going to be this one. These are both wool and vinyl, the classic sock, classic rock sock, so it's 80, 20, 400 yards. This is Sharp Dressed Man, and this is Feed My Frankenstein. They're so cool. They're so pretty together. And so I, it calls for you to do swatches in both the, the zigzaggy stitch and in, and in uh, stockinette, which, okay, I did start it, right? What I wasn't thinking is you're going around in a circle. So when I was doing the zigzag stitch, row two said to knit row two. Well, I knit row two. But because I was turning my work, I wasn't doing a proper swatch in the round. I was not getting the stockinette. It should have been a pearl back. So I did fix that and I did some of the rows correctly with a, a pearl on the second row because I was knitting flat. But you can see down here is where I was not, I wasn't doing the, I was doing pearls by accident. And I was doing some straight stockinette up here with the same size needle. I have to do more to get a proper swatch because I only was there. So, yes, swatching. This is what I got to show you guys. This, this is it. This is it. <sighs> I went to a little craft fair today, local church here where I'm at, and I bought some stuff for Mother's Day and Easter and... That was it. And then I supported the church by buying some baked goods, which I only bought some cookies and some white chocolate crabs. They're crab-shaped white chocolates, and they have Old Bay in them. I'm not a fan of white chocolate, but my husband and daughter are. So, there we go. That That's about it. The only other thing, like work, I had work, I had normal family stuff, and then... 
I decided to rearrange my craft slash office. So maybe I'll do a quick, I still have to get one more piece of furniture, but maybe I'll go down and just do a quick zoom through at the end, no talking, just kind of like a pan, because I moved, I had my table on one side and I moved it to the other side, my table meaning my desk, which we now have a giant TV on because John bought a new TV for our living room and now I have a TV in my craft room, but it's ginormous. It's really much too big. Like, I'm going to sit and see podcasts and I'm going to see every stitch <laughs> on this TV. You'll see in the clip after this. So other than that, hmm. I haven't really been watching anything. We've been watching the same stuff like Outlander and what's the other show we've been watching? Oh, uh, Daisy Jones and the Six. It's okay. I don't love it, but it's not bad. And then I finished one book and I'll name it down below because I don't know the exact name of it, but it's called, I think, The Tea Shop on the Corner. And... It's pretty interesting in the aspect of you learn about different people's lives and somehow they're all coming together in this tiny tea shop and meeting each other and forming bonds and whatnot. And that was, it was a feel good book. Um, found it interesting. It was about like an eight hour read, listen to. I listen at one and a half speed, so. I'm trying to think of what else I need to address on this, and I don't know if there's really anything right now I need to address to you all. So, again, pretty short and not a lot of content, because I haven't really bought anything other than, like, a laptop docking station. You guys don't care about that, but I bought one. I bought some curtains to hang in my kitchen. And I bought a curtain to hang on our bedroom because when we moved everything around in our house, we didn't have a door there and I wanted a cur I wanted something. <laughs> so I bought a tension rod and a curtain. Acquisitions, not really fiber related. So there you go. And other than that, I think I cranked a hat on my adding machine that I might not have shown you guys, but it is really, it's just a hat made out of mandala sequins, and I, I think I showed you guys. Yeah. All right. So on that note, um, I'm going to go <laughs> and maybe get some crafty stuff done and maybe something more to show you for the next episode. I feel bad even putting this up. But, um, yeah, I hope you're all well. It's raining here and uh, I just, I, it, it's going to be warm today, but then it's going to get cold again tomorrow. This weather is just, it doesn't know what it's doing. And I think that's just spring in general here in Maryland, in Baltimore, uh, really. So, but, um, yes, just make sure you are, oh, and today I didn't mention the date is April 1st. The kid and husband tried to prank me pretending that she cut herself and that wasn't very funny. I also not big on April Fool's Day because it's my dad's birthday, so happy birthday, dad. Because, you know, birthday. <laughs> Alright, take care of yourselves, take care of each other. Oh, uh, get your mammogram. Had mine done. First one. There's some news. Had my first mammogram. Not so bad. Just awkward didn't really hurt. Again, awkward, but don't forget to have it done because it's important. That's, that's what I got for you. So yay. <laughs> All right. No, I gotta go. All right. Uh, till the next episode, peace, love, and happy crafting.